Salt Lake City has some of the dirtiest air in our nation. This spring, students from Judge Memorial attended two events that raised awareness for clean air. On January 23rd, students attended the Clean Air Die-In at the Salt Lake City Library. Um, I'm here because I think it's important for our community to just show our legislators that we want change and that we're not going to just sit and watch as our planet is slowly being killed. I'm here because I care about air quality and I think that it's a really big issue in this city that affects everyone's lives who lives here. Um, I'm here to rally for cleaner air in the Salt Lake Valley. It's important to be here and show the legislators that you care. Uh, getting them to um, make moves, become aware about the actual critical issue that is here in Salt Lake City and the Valley. Um, the easiest way is to just reach out to them, let them know that it's affecting them, let them know that you know they matter, their lungs matter, even them, the actual legislatures, um, that individual, their lungs matter at the same time too. Um, contacting your legislators directly or rallying um, can make a big difference. Then on March 8th, students attended a rally at the state capitol. <laughs> Once again, our persistence for this issue has been ignored. My human right to breathe clean air has been forgotten about. Now you say Utah reduced its power generation's carbon emissions by over 15% in the past eight years. Now that sounds nice, but once you realize that more than 200 people this year will be hospitalized because of our pollution, that's not nice. Growing up in Salt Lake City, I have witnessed these things. Childhood friends getting sick and developing asthma. People, have, people move to different places so they can uh, have a child. People 65 years of age or older now have a higher chance of heart attacks and lung disease. These demonstrations are showing that the youth is not okay with the status quo. They want change.